Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And today we're continuing our series on best paths to progression levels. Today we're going to talk about best paths, best practices, best things you can do to become uncollected. So if you're Conqueror right now and you want to become uncollected, I'm going to go over a whole bunch of stuff that you can do to improve your chances, optimize your chances, and make things a whole lot more efficient in getting to that next progression level. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I've got another video out. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about uncollected right here. You're Conqueror right now, and you are going to uncollected there it is so what do we get from uncollected well, i put a little powerpoint presentation together so we can see exactly what we're talking about so what do you get for achieving uncollected so first off the uncollected difficulty is unlocked so for example that is things like the event quest and then uncollected rewards which happen to be some of the offers so let's talk a little bit about that first so so in the event quest there is different levels of difficulty and there is uncollected cavalier and throne breaker and so some of those will unlock when when there are offers there are pay pay offers and there are free offers and not all the offers are open for everyone, so the pay offers are, if you don't know, they are up here where the little piggy bank is. And if you just click on that, you'll go to those. And um, some of these are not open to players who are not uncollected. The other place where there are offers sometimes are in the store. So if, if we go to our little arrow here, that's the store right there. So we hit that, there will be offers in here, and not all of these offers are open to every player. So uh, some are only open to uncollected players and above. So there is that. All right, so let's get back to our list. So Grandmaster Calendar Rewards will open up. So you, our, our calendar is open, and if you don't know where the calendar is, let's talk about that. Because these are videos for, for newer players. Here's the calendar right here. And if I click on the calendar, here's the stuff I'm going to get every single day. So my calendar is a Valiant calendar. But if, you're un, if you are Conqueror, you have a Conqueror calendar, and then you're going to get the uncollected calendar by doing that. So you're going to get access to the Grandmaster Crystal. You're going to get access to the relics. You're going to get access to the Grandmaster offer as well, which I want to talk about that just slightly. And that's here in uh, the unit area. It is a pay thing. And it is Grandmaster's daily special is right here. So there are Nexus Grandmaster crystals. There is a Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selector. All the stuff that you need right now as a Conqueror player to become uncollected are in here. You're going to get access to that. I know that doesn't help you right now, but that's one of the things that you're going to get. One of the things you want to get. So you're also going to get uncollected Arena Crystal Unlock. I don't ever open those. Don't even bother. Uncollected Gold Crystal, really important for gold. Uh, again, a premium hero discount. Your daily crystals will be upgraded and your free crystals will be upgraded. So what do you have to do to get to this progression title known as Uncollected? So you have to complete Act 5, Chapter 2, Collector Bound. That's the name of the chapter. Six quests in the chapter. The defenders that are in 511 are somewhere between six and 8,000 power index. And what do I mean by that? So let's look at that. So if we go to Act 5, Quest 1, Chapter 1, Quest 1, which is the fair play. 
and we just preview it. Ignore the champs I've got up there because these are not the ones. So these champs in here are somewhere between seven and eight thousands. And then the boss in here is around an 11,000. So this is what you, you have to start here. You ended, so if we go back to our list here, you ended, compared to Act 4, Chapter 4, Quest 6, is where you ended what you got for Conqueror. And boy, did I spell Conqueror wrong. Let's make sure that I spelled that correctly. So there we go. Okay. So that's what you had to complete for Conqueror. So you're Conqueror right now, and you're trying to get to Uncollected. On average, the PI of the defenders in that were five to 6,000, and the boss was a 12,000. The first quest you have to do after that is 511 and they're 6 to 8 and the boss is about 11. So the hardest thing you had to do is conquer now is the easiest thing you have to do to get to uncollected. The defenders in the last quest are 10 to 11,000 PI and the boss is a 28,000 which is the collector. So let's take a look at him. So if we get out of here. So this is the first quest you have to do. And the last quest you have to do is in Collector Bound, Chapter 2. And it is this last one. And if we preview this, you're going to see that these champs in here are somewhere between 10 and 11, about 9 to 11,000. And here's the collector right here, and he is a 28,000. Okay? And he has tenacity on him. He's got a couple other things on him, too. And, and what that means is he's going to shrug off debuffs pretty fast. So you're going to have to be able to deal with that. And so you have to keep these numbers in mind because that's where you need to be. All right, so let's talk about what do you have to do. Uh, let's continue this. So qu complete Act 5, Chapter 2. So compared to Act 4, again... Spelled that wrong. Uh, we got five to six thousand K, and the boss was twelve K. Defenders in five one one are six to eight K with an eleven K boss. Defenders in five two one, so five two one is the first quest in chapter two, and those champs are somewhere around 10k and the boss in here is this 15 16k Psylocke okay there she is right there boss is 16k 9 to 12k and then again defenders in the last are 10 to 11k and the boss the collector is a 28k and again compared to that we're going to keep repeating this Compared to Act 4, Chapter 4, Quest 6. And we spelled Conqueror wrong, so let's fix that. Okay, so comparably, you gotta, you've got to figure that out. You've really got to figure that out. That's where, this, is, this is where you're starting, and this is where you're ending with this journey. All right, so best path. What level should you be for, uh, for this? Should be somewhere between 50 and 60 now. And 60 is the max. That is the max level you can be. Where should your masteries be? You should be 80 to 90% complete with masteries with a full parry and stupefy build, and you should be thinking about adding uh, a suicide build. Now, what do I mean by that? So if we look up here, I am level 60. That's the highest level you can get. You should be very close to that. And your mastery build, I have all my points put out. So all my points are uh, 60 points. I got 52 between offense and defense and another eight with proficiencies. Your proficiency should be done with eight points in there with a full parry and a full stupefy. Three points in each one of those. You should start thinking about making your way over to Liquid Courage and or Double Edge. If you are not playing with those, then you do not need recoil. You might want to think about three levels of glass cannon and then filling out the rest um, in things like courage, because you increase uh, your attack if you're less than 50%. Definitely, I love despair. Maybe a little bit more deep wounds. Maybe some assassin. 
with defense. If you're not playing suicide, you do not need coagulate. But willpower definitely absolutely helps. You may want to think about more of the energy resistance and maybe more of perfect block. I don't really care about stand your ground too much, but you definitely want to have four levels of physical resistance and four levels of block proficiency. You may want to th think about inequity, which reduces the champ's attack power instead of going with uh, coagulate if you're not playing suicides. Okay, what else? So that's what I mean by that when we talk about uh, our masteries. Your champion roster, this content should be done with five stars, and those five stars should be at least rank three to four with a few rank fives. You are not, so rank two five stars are the equivalent of maxed out rank four, uh, maxed out four stars. A maxed out four star Hercules can still be very useful here. So you need to start unthinking your four stars and you need to start thinking about your five stars. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the five star rosters here. So remember we're talking about six to 8,000 at the very beginning of this and 10 to 11,000 PI defenders at the very end of this. So let's look at our five star roster. I have a very filled out five star roster with um, champs that are very varying things. So if we look at so if we look at if we look at our four stars and we look at our rank five four stars, you can see that they are all between six and six and eight thousand ish. Now if we go over to five stars and we look at rank twos, they are basically the same. Okay? And you're only going to get so far with that. So if we look at our th rank threes, they are, uh, it looks like about 6,500 to 9,500. So you'll be able to get pretty far with that. But if you sprinkle in some rank four, five stars, then they, they can peak out at around 12,000-ish. Um, and if you've got a rank five in there, the rank fives can go way, way up. So from about 13,000 to uh, upwards of 20,000 if you've been able to ascend anybody. But ascending, I wouldn't even worry about that right now. So probably about the max would be about maybe a 16, 17,000. And your PIs may not be that high. These, are, these PIs are higher because I've got a very large roster my my masteries are all done and I've got suicides on so that's that's something to consider at at that point but um again this the, you should have as many five stars as possible getting them to at with a mix of rank three fours and fives and a four star maxed out four star Hercules that is a high sig Rank 5, Awaken Hercules, that's a 4-star, is still useful. So what rank-up material should you be targeting at this point? Tier tier 2 Alphas, Tier 1 Alphas, Tier 4 Class, any Tier 4 Class and Tier 4 Basic. And then for the few 5-star five rank 5s that you might have, Tier 5 Basic. And these materials can be very hard to get at this level. So what things should you be concentrating on to get these particular rank-up materials at this level? So you can get those rank three, rank four, and rank five, five stars. Well, you should be looking at EQ, 100%ing EQ Proven and Conqueror. So let's take a look at that. Event quest, and that's every month. So if we look at Proven, and we look at the rewards in Proven, there's some tier one alpha, there's some tier four basic, there's some five star shards, there's 40 Tier 4 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystals. Um, that's a nice one. There's some more Tier 4. These are not as useful anymore, but there is material in here that you can get. And these champions here are... They're very. This is a very doable content for you right now. So if we preview this, these defenders in here will be around three to 4,000. Very doable, but you should be 100%ing this. Especially right now, that since we're getting a discount. The other one you should be concentrating on is Conqueror. Again, we're getting 5-star shards. We're getting pieces of Tier 2 Alphas now. 
We're getting fully formed tier four class catalysts, which are very important. Here's more tier one alpha, more tier two, and more uh, tier four class, more tier four basic. We're getting some sig stones now. And then the chapters themselves are dropping some tier four basic and some tier one alpha, which you're going to need. You're going to need. Now, what? Now, why do I say that? Because to get a five star from rank one to two requires some tier four basic and some tier one alpha. To get a five star from rank two to three requires tier four basic, tier four class, tier one alpha. And then to get from two from three to four three to four requires tier four basic tier four class tier one alpha tier two alpha and then you need tier five basic to get from rank four to five so you can see kind of where that's going and why you need and why you need to concentrate on that because those things that you need are in here now the tier five basics are not in here you're going to have to go someplace else for those. I would not try. You're going to waste your time if you try to do higher. I don't actually think you can get higher than this because I don't think you have access to uncollected at this point. But you should be 100%ing this, and you should be 100%ing this conqueror at this level. The conqueror EQ at this level is also very doable without having to spend a lot of revives and health resources, which is, uh, so these guys are all six to probably nine thousands. And the bosses in here are probably like 10 to 13 thousands, all very, very doable character uh, defenders that you can get through without wasting a lot of rank up material. Should be concentrating 100%ing, uh, Side quest threat level two, uh, I'm sorry, threat level one and possibly threat level two. I would avoid threat level three as much as you can if you if you have access to that. I can't remember if Conquer have access to that. But if you have access to threat level one and threat level two, you should definitely be doing those. There are some good rewards in here uh, every month through the side quest for these threat levels. So you should definitely be going through that. With the arena... You should be infinite streak and max points in each summoner's trial iteration, period. Now, where, if you don't know where that is, we're going to go through that. And that is, you go to the fight menu and you go to arenas. There is summoner's trials right there. You can do this with one, two, three, and four star champions. And remember, I told you in the prior videos, you need to start working that three and four star roster out to get as much as you can so you can get an infinite streak in this arena. And this arena is a lot of points. It's not, but you should be living in this arena. It's 4.4 million points. And you should be living in this arena so that you can get there. So avoid other arenas. And because those take five and six stars. And you should be living in this arena at this point in the game. I'm going to repeat that again. You, you should be maxing this out as much as you can. So you get as many units and as many as much gold as possible out of this because this is going to be your main source of units and your main source of gold and your main source of um it's also going to be your main source of uh, battle chips which also is another important source of units it's all about units at this point um you should be trying out the catalyst clash arena because there actually is some pretty good rank up materials in here now, this one is not as extensive. There's some units in here. It's two and a half million points. You can do this with four and five stars. And um, this goes, I think, for about a day and a half. And eventually, what you're going to want to get out of these are these Ascendant Crystals or the Catalyst that are in here. There's Tier 4 Basic, there's Tier 1 Alpha, and then there's the Ascendant Crystals, which have a chance of giving you Tier 1 Alpha tier four class and tier four basic. So those are those are important resources that you can get as well. You should be in an alliance 
uh, for Alliance Quest and Alliance Wars. You should continue proving grounds at the expert level now, ISO fields at the medium to expert level, and the Catalyst Vault and Apothecary both at medium and expert level. And those are, where are those? So if we go to Fight, and we go to Daily Quests, it says four quests in here. That's these things right here. Apothecary, Cladless Vault, ISO Fields, and Proving Grounds. Now, you can get some pretty good amounts of ISO out of this. There's gold in here. There's experience. If you're not 60th level yet, you can get Tier 4 Basics out of here. You can get Tier 4 Class out of here. And you can get a Revive per day out of here. I'm not done with mine yet. So, um, so there is that. Okay. Now, you should be able to tackle Realm of Legends. I would be very careful with this. Avoid spending revives and health re resources here at this point. The rewards are just not worth it. Uh, you And you can't do this over and over again, over again to farm health potions at this point. You're not there yet. You want to spend those resources on material that is going to advance your progression level. So continue working on back issue classics to get units and gold out of there. You should be very aware, cognizant of the 22-hour solo and alliance events. Remember this acronym, LA-A, which means Level Up, Arena Event, Event, Quest Completion, and Hero Use. Level Up, Arena Event, Event, Completion, Quest, Event, and Hero Use. I think we're on the Event Quest right now should also be cognizant of the special objectives. So let's take a look at all that very quickly. So all of your solo events are going to be here. We are on a hero use event right now. It's a 22-hour event. These switch every 22 hours. And the reason you want to be cognizant of this is you are not going to get the rewards that I am getting, but you're going to get some pretty good rewards. There should be a revive in there. There's going to be units in there. And there's going to be some health potions in there. And there's going to be gold in there. So you want to be cognizant of those events. The Cosmic Arena events, those are also... So that changes every 22 hours as well. You want to be aware of those as you're doing your Summoner's Trial. And, you know, you may... You have access to test of the whatever. Um, so you may want to do that. You need to be aware of all of the side quest solo events. That are going on for the month, you're not going to be doing Winter of Woe. Alliance events, you should be in Alliance and you should be working towards these events. Right now we're in a Summoner Engagement Incursion and Summoner Advancement events. Those have some good energy recharges in them, which are hard to come by right now. And you also should be aware of special quests, which are right here. Special Objectives. And right now we've got the doting DNA. A lot of these special ones are tied to the side quest. There are battlegrounds. There's daily and weekly. And I would avoid a Karina's challenge right now. And I think that is it. So that those are the things that you should be looking for on your progression from Conqueror to Uncollected. And the next video we're going to do is from Uncollected to... Cavalier. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.